Hey everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to Microsoft Power Toys. Yeah, this app is available on their GitHub and it lets you customize your PC beyond what you could possibly imagine before today. So as you can see, I'm scrolling down to the releases. You can find this on your Google.word Power Toys in the GitHub. So now I've installed it, I'm going to be showing you what you can do. It allows like a whole new range of customizations yeah so like the first thing i'm gonna start with is always on top this basically like makes you force if a color window to always be on top of the others irrespective of how, how you click the ones behind it so we're gonna be experimenting with the calculator app yes yeah, so i'm gonna launch the calculator app shortly and you're gonna see me make it stick on top so here it is windows control and t together you can see there's a little blue borderline on it and I'm going to open another app now. You're going to see, I'll try to click the app to be in the foreground, but yeah, you can see I keep clicking it. Ideally, it should take the calculator behind, but the calculator sticks in front, so it means it works. So the next is color picker. Yeah, this basically lets us pick any kind of color from any single surface on the Windows UI with that keyboard shortcut. So that's it, Windows Shift C, you can see every single place down to the apps, down to the background, down to any single, like as far as it's made up of a color, you can get the hex, HSL or RGB color code from it. That's very amazing, like I can't even imagine Apple being able to do that on Mac OS, so good one windows and now on windows 11 22 h2 so like there are new ways we can customize our windows yeah of each app we open so yeah you can see the microsoft word which also has a new design and yeah this wasn't in the last updates you can see it's much easier to resize windows for multitasking yeah so that's pretty good The next thing we're going to talk about is, um, no, we're not dealing with File Explorer. Let's go down to something much more significant. Yeah. So we have the Power Toys Run. It's like an elevated kind of search. Like it's optimized and quick. Alt and spacebar. Yeah. And that brings up a little search bar we can use to search for anything easily without stress. Next, we have the quick ascent, which we're not talking about today because it's irrelevant. Then we have text extractor, my favorite of all of them. With Windows Shift and C, it allows you to extract any text from anywhere and paste it in the desired app. It's just like the text extractor on the new iOS, something like that. So this Microsoft Word, a blank page, I'm going to open a document on the website and I'm going to extract the text from it, as you can see. Middle. So let's use uh, one of my search history, Intel Iris XE graphics. Yeah, I checked about that this morning. And now Windows Shift and T. It brings up the plus. So we grab the portion of the text you want to extract. And after grabbing it, we go over to Microsoft Word and paste. Voila. You can see that's it. It's that simple. You can drag text on anywhere and paste it into your document at ease. So that's actually really cool like and finally we have windows conference mutes i haven't tested this out but i'll let you guys know about that so also in windows 11 22 h2 2022 updates we have a new brightness bar a new volume bar it's no more vertical it's horizontal now and also some apps have been redesigned like task manager for instance you can see it looks more friendly it doesn't look like some kind of um, assembly language ui like that it looks more friendly yeah so i like as windows are like um taking ui into consideration now yeah they're, they're putting more effort into it especially on those office apps they are really amazing yeah and also like there is a new little tweak in 
the start menu customization yeah so personalization and start we have three different modes now also in the new updates yeah so each mode and how it looks is as simple as what you can see yeah i think that wraps it up yeah so if you like this video please hit the subscribe button tell me what you think about the new updates i'm going to release a video soon on how you can get the new updates and see you guys soon enough bye